the usefulness of underground storage now is being um, heightened with the emergence of hydrogen as a um, non-emission source of the energy. Um, it's uh, obtained a lot of traction in Europe and other parts of, of the world. In fact, Canada has its own hydrogen um, policy and the government of Canada and other um, leading edge thinking governments are looking to hydrogen as a key component of the future energy mix. Um, in order to generate hydrogen, you need uh, an energy source to extract the hydrogen from uh, water. Water, as we know, is, is hydrogen and oxygen. So through the process of electrolysis, uh, we can remove uh, hydrogen from the oxygen and produce a pure hydrogen form. In order to do that, you need energy. Uh, there's various types of hydrogen technologies. Green hydrogen is uh, considered the best because you would use renewable energy, be it um, solar, wind energy, or even hydroelectricity, which are non-emitting forms of energy, of course. Uh, that would be your green hydrogen. Blue hydrogen uh, would entail using a form of energy that might be em emitting some um, CO2, but uh, a lot less than if you were using those hydrocarbons directly as an energy source.